difficult night for those on the scene and for those fielding the frantic 911 calls. We want to warn you, some viewers may find this 911 audio unsettling. Eyewitness News Ann Powell has reaction tonight from dispatchers. I have an active shooter in the Walmart on the west side. Active shooter in Walmart on the west side. Black guy named Ron. Please hurry. He's already shot some people. On the other end of the line. The ears that are first on scene. The men and women at Evansville Vandenberg Central Dispatch answered 14 calls as a former Walmart employee shot another employee. The shots rang out, sending the nearly 80 people inside ducking for cover. Are you hiding? Yes. I've heard four shots. Four shots. Yeah. It was a lot of stress, a lot of hecticness. Carrie James is the deputy director at Evansville Vandenberg Central Dispatch. A lot of fear going on, and they were, you know, once they got their information, they were, I know this is scary, but you did a good job. Thanks for calling. We're getting them all on the way. Dispatchers quickly determined who the shooter was and that he had history with employees. Any bit of information that you can give us is so important. It may not seem important to you, but it is very important to us. For lack of a better word, ammunition for an officer to go out there and look for and find immediately what he's looking, he or she is looking for. Mm -hmm. Listen, the shooter's name is Ronald uh, Mosley. He's attacked people here before. He has been there before and attacked people? Listen, he used to work here. Police say mostly began shooting in the break room moments before their nightly team meeting. Mark, okay, do you see yeah. him still? Uh, no, he was in the break room taking shots at people. Okay, so what, you last saw him in the break room? Yeah. Mostly shot a woman in the face before running out, chasing another employee with a gun. Moments later, dispatchers answered another call, saying that mostly had come back to finish killing the victim. Oh, my God. He knows where we are. Okay, so you're in the back office. That's where the shooter is? Yeah, we're in the back office. He's right at the door. Dispatchers also had a call from a person helping the victim. The caller with the injured lady, she had her moments where she kind of broke down, but she reeled it in and she finished the call and she was a trooper. Between dispatchers and the AMR team, they were able to guide the caller through administering first aid until help arrived. And trying to connect to AMR and of course AMR got a couple of the calls at the same time, I believe. So while we were trying to connect one of the girl that was talking to the lady with the injured lady, she was telling them put something on it, put a clean cloth on it, put something on it to try to help the bleeding. James uh, says it was a tough night. They had calls for active shooters before, but not to this extent. This one was different, whereas it was in the shopping center, you know, the Walmart, and it was just, we are very blessed that we didn't have more casualties. And, uh, you know, our hearts go out to the, the young lady that was injured. The girl that took the first call, she had the caller on the line and she got the information she needed and she hung up and you know she went to the next call and everything but it once it slowed down she had a little bit of crying that she used to get the stress off of her a little bit james says that in situations like this they offer peer counseling sessions to help dispatchers cope it's a great team it's headed by one of our second shift supervisors she does a fantastic job in uh, We've had Southwestern Health come in and help us out before with that peer support. And also the police department, the sheriff's department, and the fire department. Anytime we have a big event like this, they have been very, very nice in letting us know that they're having debriefings and we are more than welcome to join theirs. In Evansville, Ann Powell, Eyewitness News.